Yeah, welcome to my review of the HZ uh, heart mirror or HZ if you're American. These are a single uh, dynamic driver per side. And they look pretty cool. And yeah, as full disclaimer is, I bought this from uh, AliExpress. He was in that mini kind of end of June sale. Yeah, so um, yeah, I was not paid to do this video and all the thoughts and opinions are my own. Yeah, and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to these. I have no idea what these sound like because I have not tried them at all. But they're meant to be a good pair. There's some codes if you need to scan them. And yeah, let's get into it. So a closer look at the actual box. So HZ or HZ if you're um, from North America. Kind of basic chrome design. They do look like, from a glance, something similar like to the Tripper Win. Another they do sound kind of different, but that's what it looks like. So 10mm driver, heart mirror. I've never tried anything from this brand, so I guess we get a bunch of tips and obviously detachable cable. Specs, so 32 mm impedance, 106 decibels of sensitivity, which shouldn't be too bad. I've heard these are kind of harder to power, but not hard, really hard, but just harder to power. 1.2 meter cable, oxygen free copper, silver plated wire, frequency response 15 hertz to 40 kilohertz, which is more than enough. Obviously, 10 millimeter driver, 0.78 T pin, right angle connector, which is good. It looks like these may have a inline mic. And yeah, let's have a look. So, kind of nice packaging. They do have a protected um, film on the back. Let's have a look. Come with the case as well. Instruction manual, basic information, specs, how to use it with attention, how to connect the pins, tips, wearing method, play music, how the buttons work, warranty and replacement, Faults and after sales, so everything you need. Let's get these out. So just chrome, probably will be a fingerprint magnet. Oh, obviously, I will take the uh, this protective cover off in a bit. So yeah, a few people requested me to try these out. Oh, we got some goodies. So yeah, a few people requested I try these out because these are meant to be um, pretty good. So yeah, nice, nice case. Paddy, that's pretty good. So we've got this. Clip light if I want to go mountaineering. There's a shirt clip there, a bunch of different tips. It's got some filters here. So it looks like small ball focuses. That's a smaller ball, it looks a bit wider to see what they're like. Obviously, it comes with already some already fitted and a uh, good enough cable. Kind of an angle on there to take this off. So yeah, lip on there. Not too heavy, but a really nice build. Says R, the other one will say left. So you two pin. Nothing really special about it, so you can always swap it for another one if you have to. And yeah, so I'll have another proper look at this cable and see what it's like. So right angle connector with the brand, big thick strain relief, kind of a, yeah, quite a nice cable to be honest. There's no real kinks in it. Good to see something that's um, quite a, a quality cable at the price, quite good. A chin slider, that yeah, works okay. Does it, I don't really use them anyway, so it's not really a big uh, deal for me, but some people you know, some people do. So obviously the right one, 
can see goes in there works uh, fine take this off before it actually triggers people you can imagine as soon as you touch this a few times it'll be a fingerprint magnet oh yeah works works fine the, the actual it's very soft but yeah good cable on to the review now finally on to the review part let's get one of the negatives straight out of the way these are a fingerprint magnet as you can see i've just cleaned them off with a um with a cloth so reflective but as soon as you get your fingers on it these are fortunately fingerprint magnet and they may scratch easily which is a thing i've used these quite a lot but i've used these in a stationary position so if you have these like in and out of a pocket you may mark them but they are a, as you can see here, they are a fingerprint magnet. They are built very well. As I said, they've got a good cable as well. Can't really fault all the accessories. Same with the tips. Everything works fine for me. So, yeah. So, negative fingerprints. Comfort was all good. And isolation was okay. Nothing amazing, but it worked. Um, it, wor it, works, it works fine. Um, instrument separation was actually pretty good. They remind me a bit of the Blonde BL05S, but they have a little bit more uh, low end. It's this, but they have the same kind of characteristics. They've got good instrument separation and micro details. I kind of knew these was quite good before I actually kind of bought them. But yeah, good instrument details and separations and so it's the uh, and imaging. And if you don't know what imaging is, it's the so if your ears, that's if say if they're plugged into both your ears, it's how well the sound goes between them. So for if you like first person shooters, you want really nice good imaging so you can place footsteps essentially. And stage, the stage seems pretty good as well. It's all it's all very good for what you're actually paying. I think I paid around £32 for these, which is not too bad at all. So Overall, same signature. These have a neutral to bright presentation. So if you're a bass head, these aren't for you. You can EQ a bit if you want to. You can e Yeah, they do respond well enough to EQ. They're not EQ monsters, but you can EQ a bit to whatever your preference is. But yeah, they do have a neutral to bright presentation. The driver seems very competent. It's a carbon nano tube one. We that's a coating or the drive itself, but it is a it seems to be a hot it seems to perform very good, which I'm quite happy with. And yeah, so sensitivity and kind of powering it. I didn't find them as hard as some people suggested to power, but they do benefit off a good source. So if you have a decent enough uh, audio adapter, you should be fine. I didn't really I know issues really powering these. I thought well, they've been like power hungry, but they're not too bad. But when you do um, power them properly, it dis the sound clear, a little bit clearer. I don't sound them muddy, but it does make it sound a bit more clearer with a uh, a better source. So yeah, they do have a neutral to bright presentation. So at start off in the low end, there isn't really much. They're not lifeless, but they can sound a bit thin because they don't have the low frequencies. Because many people are are used to boost the low end like in the blonde BLO3 so on and so forth but they don't have that but because they are light on bass they sound really lean everything sounds very clean and crisp it's probably a good way because there's no bass kind of distracting you from what you're listening to is a good way to pull it but they do sound very clean very clean sounding uh, mids if you like vocals these are for you they are quite forward they can be at times a bit hot at the upper mid to lower treble. It can be a bit forward. It all depends on your source and everything. Just but if you are sensitive to that area, just be wary. Obviously, obviously you can always EQ a bit back. But yeah, from everything was very clear with these. Same with the treble region. Say instrument separation. Most of the treble, a little bit elevated, but very again very everything was clear um they perform really well these are not my ideal kind of sound signature 
but I could see why a lot of people will like them. But for the price, for I think I say £32, and that's with the extra AliExpress fees, they do seem to perform very well for that kind of cost. But like I said, these are not my uh, preferred kind of um, tuning. Not far off, but they, they, these are not really what I normally pick. But yeah, on the whole, I was, I'm actually quite happy with them. Here's a better look. See, mine are still in immaculate condition. Just be wary of scratching everything, and obviously fingerprints. So take this off. So you get the lip on there to keep it secure. It says L, the other one says R. There's two vents there, which won't get blocked because it's on the inner part. But yeah, a lot. There's no branding. They look kind of cool. They're kind of, I wouldn't say subtle, but they do look very, very clean. It's a very simple look, which is good. But yeah, on the whole, I'm quite happy with these. Um, somebody asked what they like with against the Tripuin TCO one. They are much basier than these, and they can be a bit sharp at times as well. But yeah, the difference with them straight away is the low, the low frequencies. They have more. But again, I do like the Tripuin as well. That's another competent one. In the recent AliExpress sales, the ones at the end of June, um, twenty one. They became very cheap for a short period of time. Uh, that, that was actually a, quite a good buy at the time, especially they come in that kind of mad purpley, um, I'm not sure it's anodized, but you know, the kind of reflective finish is kind of looks kind of badass. But the, yeah, these are kind of, I like these, these are they're a good pair. Just bear in mind if, you, if you're a base head, you won't like these. If you do like new, neutral to bright kind of tuning presentation and good technical performance, these are the ones for you. But yeah, they are quite competent. Just damn fingerprint magnets, and yeah, straight on to the conclusion. So into my conclusion of the HZ sound, or HZ sound, her heart mirrors, is these are very comp competent for the price. You can see they look pretty cool as well. Bit of an angle on the nozzle. I had no issues with the comfort, the fit, build, cables, tips and everything. Everything, the whole presentation is good. Just bear in mind these are a neutralish kind of sound signature, which may or may not uh, suit you. But you can always EQ things to your heart's content, so you can always EQ a bit more bass into it. They do sound very clean and very crisp is a good way to describe them. And the, the driver they have used seems very competent, like I said in the actual review section. Just bear in mind these are fingerprint magnets, which is which is a bit of a shame. And yeah, good set. Not for everyone, but for the price I paid, I'm, I'm quite happy with them. Just have to bear in mind that they do have some shortcomings, but on the whole, they are actually pretty good. And yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching and take care.